Look at that, everybody. The van is gone, man. I just paid off the loan. We got a uh, personal loan to get that pan. I just paid it off today. Had the title to it already, though. It wasn't a bank loan for the van. It was just a personal loan to help get the van. So I just paid it off like six months after it broke down. <laughs> hey, look, everybody. Dave came through and got the truck to his garage. Hopefully get it running. Maybe. <laughs> that would be sweet and hopefully it ain't too much money, but I'm guessing it probably will be. Now they can see my pile. <laughs> my pile of junk. So I got this thing right here in the scrap house to take apart. Husky. Air compressor. I found it in an evicted, it was a roll-off bin, it was an evicted house. It looked like everything was thrown in there. They got evicted or somebody died. They just threw it all away. I wasn't thinking nothing but scrap metal, so I cut the hose because I didn't want the hose. Got it home, plugged it up, it actually worked. Actually, Maddie Scraps was the one who was like, does this thing work? And we plugged it up, and sure enough, it did. So, the thing is, I don't need it. Uh... I had this thing posted for ten dollars. Nobody wanted it. Nobody. No bites. Nobody even tried to shuck and jive me, you know, for ten dollars. Nobody wanted it. I try to sell things, and usually that's what happens when I try to sell things. They don't sell. That's why I just end up scrapping a lot of things. That's why I end up just scrapping it right away. So I don't need this stuff sitting around, man. Anyways, there it is. Long story short, that's scrap metal. That's some good scrap metal too. They even wrote on there to open, go this way, to the left. So let's go to the left. <laughs> there we go, boys. Wait for it. Dairy. <laughs> no. Legendary. Got that dude apart, that com uh, air compressor dude. Could have been better. Could have been a lot worse. Thanks to the old uh, DWE 4120 grinder, I got it apart. All of it. Now all I got to do is just strip the wiring. Yep, I stripped that wire too. Why not? I mean, you got an abundance of it though. I mean, it might not be worthwhile, but come across a little bit, it's worth it, I think. Strip that wire. Because it goes from my insulated 60 cents a pound, goes up to $1.90 for copper too. 
and sometimes they just go ahead and give me number one which is uh, two dollars and ten cents right now so I think that's worth it man I think that's worth it We got a little cast aluminum in there, a little cast, shreds, lots of it, heavy, thing is heavy, that dude is heavy, this dude ain't so heavy, but it's in a steel can, so we'll just drop it all off, all at the same time, those are all the gas cans and pro, uh, helium tank, brass plates, I just saw Thubs have one of these, a set of these, uh, that print, some guy gave him and he was like scrap, I didn't really want to scrap them. I had these things for about a year. I didn't really want to scrap them out. But look at them. They're bad. They're terrible. I guess they could be cleaned up, but that's scrap. It's got a little steel bar in there. Around that edge, you got to pry that out. Should be easy. I mean, it's brass. Got these. Like, I don't know. I got these for free, but they got 50 cent signs on them. Might post that up for sale. Along with this Great Dane, that's a cast alloy. I don't know, might post it up for sale on the markup place. Took that thing apart, as you've seen. Uh, grill top. Yep, what we got over here? We'll post these up for sale, I got these. I seen actually uh, Menards or Lowe's had them. And I'm thinking they were $8.99 or $14.99 at bar, a shelf, and I got two of them. And I actually saw some guy had them in his cart, pushing them down the aisle like he was getting ready to buy them. Give me five bucks, you get them both. I got a wheel, straight, spins good, alloy, aluminum rim, spins good, steel hub, fit any 20 inch wheel. Uh, came off the three-wheeler tire and tube five bucks give me five bucks replacement I've got some old sheet, right there, old sheet. a little bit of brass but with those plates it'll add a few pounds uh, some clean aluminum I'm probably just gonna throw it in the old sheet more shreddables that's a stainless steel hose dude right there as you can see but I don't have a whole lot of stainless I think it's the only stainless I got because the rest of it I'm keeping so We'll just throw it in the steel shred. Uh, those dirty extruded pieces with a little piece of clean aluminum. I might just go ahead, I just might throw it all in the old sheet because I do believe it's all the same price. Uh, 32 cents a pound for clean aluminum, old sheet, dirty extruded, and cast aluminum, I think. And then the extruded, aluminum I think it was 40 cents a pound yeah I chopped this dude up that was a fat wheel <laughs> came off the old Schwinn boy uh, Orange County chopper 20 by 4 I think it was 20 by 4.225 yep we chopped it we don't need it it's been sitting around for over a year and the axle nut and hub got rusted up but I mean it was an easy fix but oh well <laughs> I don't care no people don't get mad and be like you get money for that you know I don't know I don't really care I'll get money at the scrap yard that's all I care about scrap that's a, a magnetic stainless steel if it's uh, magnetic, it's, it's dirty anyways. So, I mean, it's like 10 cents a pound. If it was a clean stainless, non-magnetic, it'd be worth 25 cents. But, ah, 
I just don't come across so much. So, <laughs> I mean, no sense. I mean, it's a big, it's a big unit too. So why even store it back? I mean, to me that is. If I come across a lot of stainless, and yeah, it's worth you know saving back. Even non-mag stainless, it's worth saving back at ten cents a pound because it's better than seven cents, I think, for shred. A few more pennies, you know, a few more pennies to the poundage. Uh, dirty extruded, I guess. I don't know what they're gonna do. It's painted extruded. These square pieces are painted. These are anodized. We'll see, and they're kind of dirty too. Uh, we'll see what they say. Gotta hope they don't fall over. Into the window. Heavy shred buckets. Grill tops. Got a few more pieces here to put in there. Uh, gold, gold pieces, yeah, you know. I'll just throw that in the e-waste. I'll get that apart later. This might, I don't know what, this is like a, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. E-waste. Letting it warm up a little bit. That is going to have to sit on my lap. It was an air tank, and of course, it is an air tank, and of course, it's valves open. I hope they don't give me no grief over that one, thinking it's some kind of pressurized tank it's not pressurized anymore look at this thing somebody threw this out solid piece of brass solid brass should I sell it Sam said scrap it if we're going to sell it she wants to keep it I don't know man. why keep it why keep it piece of junk found in the trash anyways piece of junk found in the trash people are like you crazy tin can I am nuts over scrap this is my lap everybody I got so much scrap I had to put it in my lap what do you think is that your final answer is that, is that all you got for me Yeah, he probably meant to just pick one up and snag the other. No, he had it, the thing in it. He picked it from the side. No. Uh -huh. It's safe to light cigarette up in there. Yeah. Yeah, that that was fumes from the cans. I smelled them when I picked that can up. Nice. Uh, 340 pounds. Shredded bees. 140 in that ton. Not bad for 2380. And got some cast aluminum. 30 cents a pound. It went down two cents. 24 pounds of cast. 28 pounds of extrusions. 40 cents a pound. Not bad for 1840, and that was a total of what I say 4220. 4220, not bad. Sit, meow, mix, sit. Meow. That's a good pussy.